How would you solve a problem like Almeida? That was on the lips of all those nuns at St. Anne's Kugrana, at All Saints College in Borella, and at St. Sebastian's Girls' School in Khandana with little Corinne Green, Antoinette Almeida, such a handful she was. Now, I'm happy to have this All Saints College girl on the show, the third All Saints College girl. The first was Amrita De Silva, the second was um, Nolene Mendes Hunter, and now it's Corinne Antoinette Almeida. And also the second, since Sebastian's Kamana girl on the show, the first one was the reigning Mrs. World, Caroline Jury, and now here's Corinne Green, Antoinette Almeida. Ah, what a mouthful, Corinne. <laughs> so how, how? How, how, good, good. <laughs> See, the, the both of us share the same birth year. We share the same birth month, and there's a two weeks difference. This is Corinne Aki, and I'm the Mali. But she insists that I look tart and she looks good. <laughs> you got a bloody hope, Corinne. <laughs> But I mean, yeah, don't we? Me ma ko masudu karagan na nila, like. Corin, we see you in a different light now. Corin, the yogi. Why yoga? What has it done to you? Well, well, good question, and I like that question because I like to uh, enlighten, at least in a sentence or two, to people. So it's been uh, one year and about eight to nine months into yoga. I'm a yogini and I'm a very, very, very um, committed, committed, dedicated yogini. I love uh, what happens at yoga class for those two hours, four weeks a day. Um, it has transformed me into a better human being. What do you mean better human being? Uh, better in the sense to be able to understand, uh, to love, to respect, to look into my inner self, inner being, to value and respect myself more than anything else. Um, yeah, and I love it. So as we talk along, I guess we can... So what do you see now in yourself? Uh, who is your inner soul or what is your inner being? Yes, my inner self, inner being is... I feel that I am a very powerful being, a very loving being, a very caring being, and um, who's always learned to live in the moment, um, to take life just one day, one step at a time. Uh, lots of things I have learned and uh, calmed me down in the sense, not that I was a rebellious, you know, character as such, but I was a person also who used to be getting angry fast and, and mm, snapping. You know that, you know that. <laughs> no, not for bad things, no, but know, you know, uh, uh, standing up for... Injustice. Uh, yeah, for but right. I do still stand up in a different way now. In what way? In a very calmer, very much quieter, positive way now. Yeah, I, I, I don't snap at, at things. I, I find that myself while driving immensely. Traffic jams? Uh, yes. Uh, Yes, that, that is number one that I really, because I used to swear a lot. Same here. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you do? Okay, you're stuck in traffic, somebody cuts into you, what do you do? I, what I do is, I don't, I hardly listen to music I, um, while, while driving now. Sometimes, yes, I, I switch the radio on, but most times I listen to Sister B.K. Shivani. Um, I listen to a lot of her programs, which calms me really down. And, and actually, there are three women that I really need to thank in this Who moment. One is Anoja Veera Singha, Anoja Ki, where I go to my yoga, to Abhinashram. Uh, the second this is, is in Bellang in Villa, Bellang Villa the just uh, in the yeah through the car park. There's a big uh, pulvatak, there's a big garden so there, so it's very close by, and everything's like just made tailor for made me, tailor made. Yes. yes. So one is Anoja Veera Singha, which I, I mean I call her Anoja Ki. Uh, second is Joyce Mayer, who is a preacher in the States, and the third is uh, Sister B K Shivani, who is a Brahma Kumari. Uh, and what do you mean Brahma Kumari? Brahma Kumari, uh, they, they are a group of uh, women, ladies, who go out spreading all of these 
uh, goodwill, peace, and, and, and how to live your life and how to look at things. And you know, basically, it, it's, it's, it's very much connected with the yoga too. Okay. So I found it very interesting and very to the point with a lot of day-to-day -day examples in your personal life where you can adjust easily and you know. So I, that's what I do. I listen to BK Shivani while driving and um, it gives me really, really, you know, my mind's on another level, like, so. Well, you as, as a Catholic or as a Christian or Anglican, uh, has that taken away from your faith in your God or has it complemented your faith in your God? It has complemented. I, I was born a Roman Catholic. Then uh, after many years, after I, after, I mean, Brandon was also quite, uh, young. I mean, he was around 10, 11, I guess, at the time. My mom started going to my aunt's church, to the Shiloh Church, a Seventh-day Adventist. And I, too, went to that church for a while. But actually, I don't go to any church now. I don't visit any church now. Why? Uh, because, to be very honest, it's confusing to me. Because too many denominations. And um, I don't know which is the right one. Because so, every one of them call, say that they are the right one. So come where do you here. meet your God? I meet my God in my home, in my room. Uh, and everywhere I am, God is there with me. So it is, uh, yoga has um, gotten me spiritually more connected with God. Uh, some people think that yoga is Buddhism or Hinduism or whatever. But it's not that, it, it's not at all. Anujaki, when she... It is neutral, eh? It? Yeah, some people they don't even know. Yeah. And, and Anujaki always, you know, when the class, before the class begins, and if she takes the class or if any other instructor takes the class, they always talk about Tamange Shastru Varyava, meaning oh, whether you are a oh, Buddhist oh. or a Hindu or, or a Muslim or a Catholic, it doesn't matter. You have to um, uh, uh, talk to your, you know, and you have to be connected with your Shastru Varyava, your, your God. So I have learned, and that's after that is when I, in fact, launched my spiritual CD. That was on hold for like so many years. I wanted to do this in thanksgiving to the Lord, but it never got off the ground. Always obstacles, always some issue. Either no studios, either I'm not available, or the Iranjan and Viran, they are not available. You know, so many obstacles came my way. But after four or nearly five years, I was, a, yeah, I was able to release this CD, uh, which I am giving away free of charge to everybody. I haven't a prize on it. Um, I yes, I, sh I shall give you one. Um, uh, just eight tracks, which has one original and uh, seven covers, which are very close to my heart. Like number one on the CD is One Day at a Time, Sweet Jesus, mm, because that's lovely. how I live my life, basically. You use those words at the beginning. Yes. So, so that is. What do you mean taking one day at a time? But won't you plan for the future? No. Won't you all plan? I mean, you, your life, your work, your tours, music. No. Music? No. I plan in the sense I don't have big goals. I mm. never had. That is how I. But weren't you very ambitious woman for you? No, ambitious in the sense music. When you, if I'm, if I'm talking in terms of music, music was something that was in my home, mm. right? Uh, in my home, in the sense not professionally. My dad played the guitar and he could sing. My mom, her whole family could sing because my grandfather, my mom's father, he was a well-known pianist at the time, Clarence Lord, mm -hmm. who played with Jerry Craig and you know that crowd. So music was there and then my brother and myself, Kevin and myself, we took it professionally. But I didn't have big ambitions as such and goals. It just came my way. And because I had this thing uh, from a very understanding age that I like to take one step at a time and uh, um, just one day at a time because and with yoga it has it has grown immensely because it gives me that insight uh, knowledge of this whole thing that I was living my life. So tell me the layman that I am uh, what would yoga do to me if I, if I start if I come to you and come to Anoja what would it do to me how would it calm me down how would it slow, slow me down in a nice sense and help me to face the presence of life. Yes. Uh, what I have, I'll, I'll share you my views, okay, on yoga. So you, and you, everybody uh, notices that with me. Uh, I mean, I've got many, many, many 
uh, comments and you know people say you are very different now you're you know you are emotional. yeah so what yoga does is yoga and meditation whatever religion you are you just pray meditation is actually praying main three things in yoga what you got to take care of is your breath your mind and your body okay. because your breath you just imagine you're sitting here and and you just lose your breath your breath is gone what can you do after that yeah it's just your breath your whole thing is all about your breath in fact i went for uh, last week i did a um, breathing workshop it's called the sky sudarshan kriya workshop okay. yeah uh, this Guru Indian um, Ganesh Ji is the one who conducted it. So we had about uh, 40 to 50 people, all the yoga crowd and you know others joined us. Something really nice that I learned, you know, so much of breath techniques that we don't know that, it, that can keep us alive healthy. and healthy. You know, it, 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 it um, takes away if you're into medication or anything, it takes away everything. Actually, I used to be taking medication before, like, I mean, not major, like maybe cholesterol. Yeah, only cholesterol, not medication, pressure. just cholesterol. Not pressure, no, I, I don't take any pressure tablets. But I am out of that too. I am out of that too, after one year and eight or nine months yoga. Because yoga teaches you, those are the first three things it teaches you, to be aware, always awareness, always mindfulness. Always to stay focused, no matter what. Always to live in the present, live in the moment. Because this moment is the most beautiful moment in your life. Just think of it that way, then, then your life is beautiful. And it has five things that you have to take care of. You have to have proper breathing, to know to breathe properly. You have to have proper exercises. You have to have relaxation. You have to relax. Because in today's world, what I see now, oh I also used to be that way. Everything is a rat race, everything is a rush, everything you're running, 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 running. You take an example, okay, I'll complete the five things. So it's breathing, it's proper exercises, it's proper diet, it's a proper relaxation, and then mindfulness and, uh, I mean, positivity and meditation. So, Corinne, how do you combine these five elements in your life? You, Corinne Almeida, mother, daughter, sister, musician, singer, teacher, housewife, all that. It's very easy when, you, when you're in the yoga meditation whole thing that I was talking about because it gives you a whole inner balance because you have a left and a right brain. So what the breathing pranayamas and all the breathing techniques teaches you is to balance yourself, your mind. So once that is balanced, you know how to balance your entire life. You can have 101 roles that you're playing, but you can balance it beautifully. You can have time for every little thing. And you can have a lot of free time too, trust me. It's simple as that. You have to come. You have to I start. Think, I think you've just convinced me. Yes, I'll be there. Thank you so much, Corinne. I, I discovered a completely different Corinne Almeida to the one I knew for the past 30, 35 years. Thank you, Corinne, so much. Uh, sequence you. X. We now next talk to Corinne. Uh, Corinne, the mother, the, the daughter, the housewife, the driver, <laughs> that Kade chat that you always have. So thank you so much, show. Corinne Almeida, my guest on anything but Puma Disabar on www.pulse.lk and of course on YouTube. Hey guys, thanks for watching. To keep up with the past of Sri Lanka, you can subscribe to our channel here. To watch our latest videos, click here and here. Keep living it.